Hi guys and welcome back and if you are new here, welcome. So I was going through my beauty room and figured it was time to go through what I am not using anymore and kind of declutter it. If you are interested in decluttering videos, then you came to the right place. If you are not yet subscribed, please click that subscribe button down below. And if you like these kinds of videos, give me a thumbs up. But let's jump into this declutter. Okay, so I keep saying it in all of my videos, I have way too much stuff. I purchase all of my stuff on my own. Nothing is ever, ever, ever sent to me. And if I have not reached for an item in six months or longer, I am just going to see if I still like it. And if I don't, I'm just going to either throw it away, give it away, or figure something else out for it. I don't I don't know guys. I just can't keep holding on to stuff that I'm not going to use. I say this in all of my declutter videos, please do not message me and ask me to send you any of the stuff that I am decluttering. It is just not hygienic. I will not send it to you guys. I'm sorry. The first thing I'm decluttering and I didn't use, I got this in a boxy charm a while ago and this is the lace and peel bamboo charcoal peel off mask i never used it um i did open it because i was curious to see what it looks like but then i started seeing like the reviews and like people were just no and I, what what i was seeing what i was hearing i was just not about to do that um, I do think it's a little weird. So this is the, the mask. So you basically are, would put this on your face like this. And then once you get it situated, which as you can see, it doesn't even fit my face. Um, then I think you put the mask on. I don't even know. Nope. Scratch that. You would put the mask on and then you would put this on top of your face and you would leave it for 15 to 20 minutes and then peel the lace off. Now, I just never used it, so we're gonna just say goodbye to that. I'm sorry, I just never used it. Not gonna use it, so it's time to just move on past that. I have, this is really old. This is um, from Sephora. This is the shade, it doesn't even have a shade name on it, it's so old. Anyway, it, it's just this purple shade that I'm just never ever gonna use. It's been sitting in my drawer for way too long, so we're gonna get rid of that. I have this NYX shadow, and this is in the shade Silk. I never even used it. It was just sitting there. I have a hard time with single shadows, and I have a bunch of single shadows in here. Um, I don't want to have to stand there and pick out single shadows to create a look. I would rather open up a palette and see all of the colors and choose which ones I'm going to use out of a palette than have to pick up 18 different single shadows. It just doesn't work for me. This is another one from NYX in the shade Blonde. Again, it was never touched, never used. It was just sitting in my drawer. Um, I have a ton of, of single shadows, guys, like a ton. This is uh, from Flower Beauty. I picked it up in Walmart. It was in the clearance for five bucks. There was a shade missing from it. Uh, never used it. I just think I was too afraid, even though it was sealed and there was a shade missing. I just, so we're going to get rid of that. This I did use, this is from e.l.f. and this is the Flawless Eyeshadows. And 
these are really pretty pretty colors i don't understand what this little mirror is down here because you really can't like see much in it so i don't know what the purpose was i did use this um a few times but then i stopped reaching for it it's just too thin and too skinny to get the brushes in and i was just over fighting with trying to get my brushes in so we got rid of that this is another uh double shadow from elf i never used this one this is in i don't even know doesn't have a shade but i've never used it a lot of these elf ones that i have here i'm gonna try and grab them because there's a ton so we can go through them quickly i never used any of these i had purchased them and they were just sitting there in my drawers so we're just gonna move, move on a lot of them are doubles too um like this black one and this white one i would swatch them for you guys but again these are shades that i i never touched so maybe somebody that i know like one of my family members or friends might like to give it a home um here's this one they don't really have shade names on them and if they do oh this one is mocha swirl the, the, the writing on it is like so super super tiny this one is just says quad um and again i bought this i remember for the blue shade i don't even think they sell these anymore um i've had them for a really really long long time Here's another one, such pretty colors, but I just, I don't reach for them because they just sit there. I, it really makes me upset that I bought all these and spent my money on them and never used them just because, <coughs> oh, excuse me, because I can't reach for them because I don't want to just use double shadows. Here's another brown and this one is in the shade butter pecan i just don't ever ever reach for them here's another double of the light blue and the dark gray uh there's so many of these i just like let's go through them quickly it's not a true video unless I'm dropping something. There's this one. There's this one. There's this one. This one is really pretty. Like, these green is so pretty. But again, I just never reach for these. Here is another one. I have a double of that. A double of this one. This one, I don't even know why I have it. There's another one. None of these were ever touched, which is such a sin to have them and not touch them. And, and now to be sitting here decluttering, here's another double of this one here. I don't know. I am also going to be decluttering this ColourPop Gel Eyeliner. This is in the shade Deconcenzo. I think that's how you say it. I'll link it down below. But look at how yucky it got. Like so dried out, there was no fixing this. Like if I scooped a little out and mixed it with liquid, it just, there was no saving this at all. So we're just going to get rid of it and. It was so dry that if I would try to use it, it would literally hurt my eyes. This next thing that I am decluttering is from Stellar. And again, this has never been opened, never been used. It says that it's Cosmic Face Powder um, in the shade Haze. I, um, being that it's never been opened, I probably can pass this along. So I don't want to swatch this. But I think I got that like maybe in one of my boxy charms who knows the next thing i am decluttering is this from tint infusion from sephora uh it just did nothing like it wasn't like it looks like it's a dark shade and like it's going to tint 
but it was just a hot greasy mess that's all this was like you rub it in and it just didn't tint at all and it was just like a hot nasty greasy mess I'm I know I'm being harsh when, when I say some of these things but I'm just gonna give you guys the real truth and that's just how I've always been and how I always will be like as you could see like it does on my hands because my hand is a little bit lighter than my face but it's just it looks greasy and nasty and I just used it like one time and being that I never reach for it it's just time to say goodbye to this guy I am also getting rid of another ColourPop eyeliner and I got good use out of this one this one is in teaspoon this is one of my favorite ones from ColourPop uh, if they did have this in the liquid form I would definitely repurchase this but as you can see it got all crusty and dry and that happened fairly quick with this one and I really tried to get a lot of good use out of it just because this was the perfect green color but I cannot use it anymore I will not put that in my eyes so we're just gonna get rid of that I have this small little uh, three pan shadow from wet and wild and this was in it doesn't even tell you what the shade is I just I stopped reaching for this so I'm just going to get rid of it again I have another one of those flawless eyeshadows from elf and it is in the brown shades is it the same one it is I had two of them I don't understand they're both the same and I didn't use either one I have no idea I have another flawless eyeshadow from elf this one I did get a lot of good use you can see I did hit pan in this one um, I did like it obviously but again I just stopped reaching for it and I haven't used it in a long time so just gonna pass that on have you guys decluttered anything like what are you what are you guys decluttering at the moment I have this from elf and this is the long-lasting luxurious eyeshadow it doesn't have a shade on it oh wait it does it is celebration I swatched it and just never used it so gonna declutter that I have another one of those NYX eyeshadows I did swatch this one but again didn't use it and this is frosted lilac I know I keep saying it I just I wish that I used these when I got them and gave them some love and attention but I just don't reach for them and they were just sitting there in a drawer and I needed the drawer I needed to put stuff away because I have stuff all over the place I'm laying all over the place and I needed just to make room for the new stuff that I have again here is another um, three pan from wet and wild um, I did use this once or twice but I just I didn't care for it the shades didn't stay on very well and I just never went back and reached for it again I used this but stopped using it because it broke as you can see and this is from so Suzanne and it was a statement skin highlighting crayon but it's just been sitting there and goodbye I have another one of those long-lasting shadows from elf and this one is in the shade toast again swatched and not used um, 
wish that I used this because now that I'm looking at it, it's such a pretty, pretty color. Do I want to keep it? I'm going to put this one on the side and decide later if I want to keep this one or not. I have two more of those NYX shadows and this one I did use. This is in purple. Um, I used it a few times, but again, because it's just a single shadow, I don't find myself reaching for them. So it just sits there. And then this one is never been used. And this is in iced mocha. Another one of those elf duos never ever used. There's something in here is leaking powder all over the place. I have this from Artist Couture, and this is in Purple Dream Diamond Glow Powder. I did get this like a month or two ago in my BoxyCharm. This is still broke. I was not going to fuck with it. This is still broke. You can't turn it. Every time you try to turn it, you hear the plastic crack. So, bye-bye. I have a really old Star Wars The Force Awakens The Super Sizer Cover Girl Mascara in water. It's waterproof. Um, I did like this. It is now on the really dry side. I loved how thin the lash part is, whatever the hell it's called. Oh my God, I can't speak today. The bristles, that's the word I'm looking for. I did like the bristles on this brush. It was just got in there really well and on the bottom as well, but it's just been sitting there. I haven't really given it much love anymore and it is old. So it's time to just uh, say goodbye to this guy. I have a colored mascara from NYX and this is in blue. Again, if you have dark lashes, this is not going to show up on you in any way, shape, or form. It just, if you, if you're blonde, light brown, it will show up. I cannot, for the life of me, on my dark lashes, get this to show up. So I'm just going to get rid of it. I have this from First Aid Beauty, and this is the Illuminating moisturizer i never ever used it it's just been sitting here in the package and being that i've never got around to using it and i do think at this point because i've had it for some time i hauled it in one of my tj maxx holes a while ago and just never used it that it's probably at this point expired so we're gonna say bye bye i picked this up also in one of my tj maxx holes and this is from Urban Decay. This is the brow box. And while underneath, when you open it, it does have a mirror. And it does have all of these cute little tools in here. Like you get, let's take them out. You get like a little tiny baby spoolie. Little tiny tweezers. And a little tiny brush. I think that that was so cute. Um... And then when you open it up, you get your brow shades and wax. Now, I use this, and the reason why it's in my declutter is it was way, way too dark for my brows. I did not like the way it looked at all. So I'm just going to not keep it because it was just not my shade. Not because I didn't like the product or anything like that. It just wasn't my shade. The next thing that I am decluttering is another thing from e.l.f. And this is the eyebrow kit. And it still has the plastic inside. I never, ever used it at all. It is that waxy material. And I just don't like the wax. So I just never reached for it. You know, when you're buying some of these things in the store... It doesn't say if it's a wax or what it is on the packaging. And to me, it just looked like shadows. And I don't care for the wax. They don't stay 
nice. Uh, and any wax product that I've tried for brows, they just don't stay the way that they should. So I'm just going to get rid of that. I have another one of those NYX mascaras in purple. We covered why we are not keeping them. I have two more of the e.l.f. shades in here that this one looks damaged, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And this one was never used, so put in a pile for friends and family. I have this mascara from Grand Mascara. It's a last boosting formula. Again, you can see it is still good. I've never used it and it's just been sitting there and I have my favorites that I like and just never reached for this, so bye-bye. The next thing that I am decluttering is this sample of Bye Bye uh, Concealer from It Cosmetics. There are some products that I like from It Cosmetics, and there are some products that I don't like. I don't like this concealer at all. It's in the shade Medium. I have used it. Now, you see when it comes out? No matter how much you use, a little bit, a lot, it is just very thick and, like, greasy. Can you see? how greasy it is once it hits your skin, it gets really greasy. And it is no blending this out. And it, it's just, nope, goodbye. I also do feel like with certain, and, and it's just my opinion, I do feel like with certain IT Cosmetics products, I feel like they make you look older instead of enhancing the way you look and making you look flawless and beautiful. I do find that with certain products from IT Cosmetics on me, it makes me look older and nobody wants to look older than they are. The next thing that I am decluttering is from Manicada and this is a little sample of their Sheer Glow Shimmering Lotion. I might have gotten this a while ago in Ipsy or BoxyCharm, but uh, no, not BoxyCharm, because BoxyCharm never sends anything this small. So probably Ipsy, and I canceled Ipsy a really, really, really long time ago, so there's no point in keeping this. It's probably no good anyway. And the last thing that I am decluttering is from Iconic London, and this is the eyebrow cushion. We got this in BoxyCharm, and no. So when you open it up, here's your eyebrow products, and you do have your little spoolie and your little brush right there. Um, the problem is when you touch this, it never dries. And look at how dark that is. That doesn't even really match. Um, I tried to use this. It just, it gets all over the place. I, I just didn't care for it at all. Then on the other side here, if you push here with whatever, it's supposed to be like a lighter shade. So if you look, here's a dark shade and here is a lighter shade, but they both come out the same exact shade. Um, I've tried gently pushing the brush onto the lighter side nothing worked i just i did not care for this at all so i'm just going to not keep it and dwell on it and it does look like the color of baby cocky i will be honest like let's let's open it again and swatch it it looks like baby cocky so here's what it looks like on your finger you could already see it looks like baby cocky and then when you put it on, it looks like baby haggy. Anyway, guys, that is my decluttering of stuff that I have not reached for uh, in a really long time. And it was just time to get rid of them. 
But if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. My allergies are so bad, I just keep coughing all over the place. Anyway, guys, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye, guys.